Welcome back. Today I'm going to share with you three fun affirmation techniques for quick manifestations. Now manifesting is fun and easy. With literally thousands of techniques, I know it can be tricky which ones to use, when to use them, how often. They're the very common questions I get asked. But once your conscious mind is activated on manifesting, it sees it as a task to be completed to gain an outcome. And it immediately wants to quantify, qualify, and justify the need for the technique. Your mind wants to know all the steps and all the details and begins to make manifesting a job or a chore. Stop. No more. Make a promise to yourself right now. Say it out loud. No more. This is fun and easy. Now, in all fairness, the conscious mind is just doing its job. But in this video, I will help guide you as the consciousness to take back the control from the mind, needing to know how and when and why, to get back into the experience of manifesting and allowing it to flow. So in this video, I will offer you three fun, light and easy affirmation techniques to do an experience, and you can easily implement them in your daily routines. These techniques will allow you the operant power, the main consciousness, to be in charge, not the thinking mind. So buckle up my manifesting friends. My intention for you is to stay to the end of this video as I share these techniques that can be done both individually on their own or you can bundle them together. Either way, they make manifesting light and fun as it really was meant to be. So if you are new here and we're just getting to know each other, my name is Dee Dee Povernick and I'm the Invincible CEO and I am the last most exciting manifesting coach you will ever need. Join me as I help you cut to the front of the line of your deepest desires. I'll guide you to tap into your innate inner powers. Dun, dun, dun. To manifest with ease. Why? Because I want to see you win big and win all the time. This channel is all about you winning big quickly with experiencing your fulfillment of your manifestations. So here's a little secret. I want you to stay because the third affirmation technique is absolutely my favorite. Okay, so before we get to the techniques, I want to do a little disclaimer here that with manifesting, you do it naturally 24-7. It's all you've ever been doing and you don't need techniques. They are just a fun point of focus in the now moment. And in doing so, it helps convince the conscious mind that you are now embodying that version of you that has that wish fulfilled of the desire that you're using the technique to keep you focused upon. But the technique doesn't cause the fulfillment. The technique doesn't make the manifestation happen. It's just this beautiful funnel for you to stay focused on what's wanted and stay away from what's not wanted. So think of it this way. If there's a movie playing in the movie theater, you take yourself to the movie theater. The movie theater isn't the technique, it's the point of focus where you go to watch the movie. And that's what techniques are meant to be used as. So we wanna get rid of how often, when, which ones, it's whichever one that you choose, whichever one that you feel in the moment is fun to do, but because you know now that it's not even necessary, but it's just a fun thing that you get to do. Just like when you put on your, your favorite shirt or you go have your favorite meal, it brings you joy in the now moment. Okay, the other thing with techniques I would say to you is you wanna make it natural, especially with affirmation techniques. You should be using the techniques just like you would if you were having a conversation with someone or yourself. And we'll get a little bit more into detail with that, but I just wanted to put that quick disclaimer. The techniques are not need it, you are the operant power. But sometimes we forget that, so we use the techniques to help us. Anything that you're doing should bring you joy and should aid you. It shouldn't give you another reason to beat yourself up that something's not working. If that's what's happening when you're doing techniques, step away, take a break, stop doing all things. Because things are always manifesting and you just don't quite understand that yet. But as we go on this these video journey together, I'm going to do more and more videos to help you understand that. And I think right now on the channel, there's over 200 different videos with lots of different varieties. Okay, so let's get to the techniques. Okay, the very first fun affirmation is I am a powerful manifester. And this 
also happens to be one of my foundational assumptions. This is the assumption that I, I almost don't even have to remind myself anymore because I'm just looking for evidence of it everywhere. So when you have a beautiful affirmation, like I am a powerful manifester, it's not like I'm walking around robotically going, I'm a powerful manifester, I'm a pow You could, but what I like to do is I like to do it like me, right? So whenever I do something mundane, such as folding the laundry, I'm like, I am the powerful manifester. Or if I go for a run, I am the powerful manifester. Because I'm choosing it, I'm aware that I chose it, and then I'm going to either act it out or look around for evidence. Now, there's a whole video on evidence is not proof. And I am a financial fraud investigator. Initially, way back when, I'm an expert of the subconscious mind. So when I say to you that it's a lot lighter to look for evidence, not proof, it's almost like the birds before land that Neville Goddard talks about. So I am a powerful manifester and I feel that. I feel that down to my core that no one and no thing could come to me right now and tell me that I'm not. To the point I wouldn't even argue the fact with them, I would allow them to have their opinion, but there's, I know deep to my core that I am. So I'll go over to my partner and go, hey, by the way, did you know I'm a powerful manifester? And he'll usually say to me, yes, I am. And I'll go over to one of the kids and I'll say, hey, do you know I'm a powerful manifester? And they'll roll their eyes at me. But that's their way of saying, yeah, I know. It's so obvious that it doesn't even have to be said. And that's, why we, that's how we want to bring these techniques together. That in the now moment, remember, you don't have to describe the now moment. It is in and of itself. If you're sitting, you don't have to say, oh, by the way, everyone, I'm sitting here sitting. It's that obvious. So I am a powerful manifester and I repeat it, but I also look for evidence of it everywhere. So now you know you too are a powerful manifester. Before we get to the next affirmation, I wanna remind you as a powerful manifester to like and subscribe to this channel for more mind-bending manifestation videos. Don't forget to check out the community tab where I offer polls for you to decide which video you wanna see next, and there's one up right now. All right, so now on to the second fun affirmation that I love to use is everything is always working out for me. See, since the conscious mind likes to be hyperbolic, it likes to get real vague, you never do that, you always mess that up. I, always, I like to use it too, that everything, everything is always working out for me. Because why, if I'm a powerful manifester, would I live in a world where it wasn't? And that's when you just get this big, huge aha, like, wait, wait, what, 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 what did you just say? What did you just say? I just said to you that if you are a powerful manifester and you just affirmed that you were, then everything is always working out for you because why would you continue to create a world where it wasn't? You no longer have to have the negative thing happen to know you want the positive thing. You can just choose the positive thing because everything and everyone is you pushed out, but everything is always in all ways working out for me and everything in all ways is always working out for you, always. See, I love to play with my words and if you're here long enough, you'll get to play with your words too. So feel how light and fun and then what do I do? I have fun saying it to those around me. I'll go into the mirror. If there's no one around, I'll talk to the dogs. I'll talk to the cat. I'll talk to the fish. Everything is always working out for me. And when I say it, I mean it. I feel my heart chakra, my heart want to explode because I'm so excited, even though there may not be anything technically working out for me in the moment other than I'm still breathing, I'm alive, and I can say everything is working out for me. Like that's the fun part about this. So then I just start to look for evidence right? There, the chair's here, the, the, the computer's here, my bottle of water's here. <laughs> like, I get all this, this is all here for me. Another way of saying that this is all here for me and everything's always working out for me. So it, these are so fun, these are so light. And while you're doing affirmations, it holds the space in your mind so that those negative thoughts and those complaints can't come in. You cannot be double-minded. You cannot be a house divided within yourself and expect your manifestations to show up. It is a state that you have to constantly be in. And what you do is you use these techniques to help keep you in that state. Okay, get ready. The third one's coming up. So real quick, before we get to that third affirmation, and as I told you, a little secret, it's my favorite, 
I just want to remind you that if you want to become a powerful manifester, but you need a little guidance, I do offer many coaching options. I know sometimes it's hard to connect the dots by just watching my YouTube videos. So I've left a link in the description below. I offer digital courses, which you can just access right now. I have one and done coaching sessions with all different time frames. I do group coaching and on January 14th, I'm starting the next group session, which is the creation of a powerful appreciation manifestation journal that will last for 30 days and we will be on Zoom meeting. And I also have full blown one on one coaching programs. And finally, my favorite fun affirmation technique is, oh my God, it worked. And I always think of Janice from Friends when I do the first part of that. Um, but it is such a fun technique. Oh my God, it worked. So we started off with affirming that we are powerful manifestors and we felt that within ourselves. And then we realized that everything is working out for us. And now, and with both of those, we were looking for the evidence. We were looking for the evidence of being a powerful manifester. We were looking for the evidence of everything working out for me. And then, oh my God, it works. And you look for the evidence of the manifestation and how everything is always working out for you. So for me, sometimes the actual thing isn't here yet but I close my eyes, I go into my imagination, I see it playing out, and then I feel and exclaim the, oh my God, it works. But I also do that with mundane things every day, like when I turn on the car, oh my God, it works. When I turn on the light, oh, it's a manifestation, oh my God, it works, because if you went to turn on your car and it didn't turn on, you'd have an issue, right? So when you start to do with the little everyday Monday things, you turn on the TV, oh my God, it works. You turn on the water, oh my God, it works. I know it sounds silly and superficial, but that's what manifestation is. Because if you get in the mode of feeling fun and playful, when you're looking for the evidence of things that are working out for you and that are working so much more than what you've asked for and just the little things, it's the way to give appreciation. Oh my God, it works. It's such a huge appreciation affirmation that you, you don't have time to be grumpy. You don't have time to complain and you fill yourself and your reality because your subconscious mind, remember friends, works in three different ways. It works in repetition, it works in ceremony, and it works in how you feel. And these affirmations embody all three. You're gonna repeat, you're gonna do a little ceremony, you turn on the light, that's the ceremony. Oh my God, it works. And then how it feels, I have light. This is so exciting. And it's just a joyous state of being and it's a great way to conjure things up for you. So I hope that you enjoyed this video, the information here. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for being here. Oh my God, it worked. I did the video and here you are. I appreciate you staying here till the end because everything always works out for me and it works out for you too. And if you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe to the channel. Feel free to share in any of your manifestation communities that you belong to this video and channel with others and take a look on the screen because there's gonna be another video just chosen just for you because guess what? We're all powerful manifestors. Enjoy, see you next time.